Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Oliver Rajamani, and um, I'd like to introduce to you this uh, beautiful rabab of mine. It was um, custom made for me in Kabul, Afghanistan, uh, by the most legendary uh, rabab makers uh, called the uh, Kadari rabab makers, uh, who um, go along uh, many many generations of uh, rabab making uh, and uh, this rabab uh, i guess i'm honored to say it was named uh, uh, rajamani rabab and uh, it has a little story i'd like to share with you uh, when i was touring uh, i was flying in american airlines and uh, american airlines uh, broke my rabab they were not very friendly, and uh, ended up breaking my rabab and decided they were not going to pay for any damages. Uh, anyway, I ended up taking that opportunity to order a new rabab um, and uh, order a new rabab, uh, just custom made uh, for me, uh, because I also sing with the rabab and do different things. I don't just play traditional styles I try to you know play different um, ways of using the rabab in my own way so um, this rabab is custom made and it's different from other rabab's uh, in that it's slightly it's a little bigger than your traditional usual rabab's and um, and the thing that makes it even more different is the fourth string I have had the makers add a fourth string just for me. Uh, traditionally, the traditional rabobs have only three strings. One, one, two, three. But I have one, two, three, four. Now the fourth string really um, opens up um, uh, the ease to finish uh, scales much better when you're playing. Um, and I can show you for example, if in a in in three strings you would only play but with the fourth string you can play more like this. So it opens up, gives more space for expression on the rabab. And also, uh, the cool thing about this rabab is you can also play chords with that fourth string better, much better. These are all different things you can do. And uh, the other thing is with this rabab, uh, it's, it's such a beautiful rabab because uh, I play some uh, Indian sarod also and I'm able to uh, use the Indian sarod techniques a lot more and make it sound um, in between a rabab and a sarod. So you can move both ways, for example. So uh, you can do a lot more slides or gamak um, uh, 
techniques on this revab a little better. And um, other than that, uh, it's pretty much uh, similar to other traditional revabs. It has its uh, sympathetic chikari strings here and um, uh, made of the same material and so forth. So uh, it's that uh, fourth string that makes a huge difference, uh, especially for me. Um, when I'm trying to play different uh, with different styles of music and uh, uh, anyway so if you'd like to uh, purchase this Rajamani Rabab uh, I'm going to share the maker's name and the contact info phone number and they speak English and um, they ship everywhere and all over the world so uh, uh, great Rabab I've been enjoying it so much and now I'm going to uh, play a little recording for you all with this, using this rabab I have made, and you can see how beautiful it sounds when you play it um, in a studio setting or live setting, uh, in a sitting in front of a mic. Hit, you know, you don't need to add effects or anything. It has its own beautiful re reverb built in this instrument itself. So, um, anyway, thank you uh, for being here and watching this video, and uh, please uh, sus uh, subscribe to our. Um, videos here and uh, we'd love for you to see more music and uh, other interesting things uh, thank you again and please enjoy the rest of this uh, video with this beautiful music thank you so much
Thank you. 